Welcome to my channel, Playing with Maserati and Scripture Writing by Honey. I am going to be doing day 15 of the daily scripture writing, which is Isaiah 60, 19, 20. So before we begin, I'd like to show everybody welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you could share the video, that'd be greatly appreciated. Wow, that was a lot to say. Okay, so first I want to show you, um, you can find this at swtblessings.com. It does not look like this. I just decorated it myself, wrote it out. Um, you can find it in the description below. I went ahead and typed it out for you. And you will see it every month, a different prompt. So this one we're focusing for the month of light. So you can see it. There you go. So if you want to screenshot it too as well, you could do that. I used to do that all the time when I first started scripture writing was screenshot the prompts and yeah so here it is for day 15 let me move this out the way and this is my scripture writing uh journal whatever you want to call it it's the happy planner everything it's just scripture writing inside and let's begin so i have it in front of me the bible and we're going to be here. It says, the sun will no more be your light by day, nor will the brightness of the moon shine on you. For the Lord will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory. 20. Your sun will never set again and your moon will wane no more. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your days of sorrow will end. I actually like that. So what do you think that verse means? You can leave it in the comments below. Have a conversation and how is everybody doing? I am doing good now that I have an apartment. So far we're moving so... I've been talking about it for a while, and yeah, I cannot wait to get out of here. My landlord is something else. A person that does not want to fix anything. And I could have sworn somebody was coming in. Because he knows I'm filming. My husband. Yeah, so we found a three-bedroom house. It was a steep price, but we have to do it. So yeah, so that's what we'll be doing within the upcoming weeks is moving, moving but you will still get your videos every day. I'm going to film probably this weekend all my videos. I'm going to have to be advanced. Like, have the videos in advance so that I can just schedule them. Which is always good. So you'll get to see the videos on time every day. Except for today. Because I am actually filming. I already filmed the video, but I have to upload it. But tomorrow you'll get it and so on. So I gotta do that for a lot of my videos. Schedule, schedule, schedule. I'm loving this pen. It's the Dollar Tree pen. It's got four colors, I want to say. Yeah, four colors. Really nice pen. I highly recommend it. And I've had this pen forever. And it has not ran out of ink yet. It has not let me down. And you know what? Knock on wood. Because I do not want it to do it right now. Where it runs out of ink or something. And I'll be like, well, it never ran out of ink. And then just my luck, it will. So yeah, how's everybody? And how are you doing with your scripture writing? Now I'm on 20. It'll probably end on the next side. Yeah, so how's everybody's scripture writing going? And are you doing the SWT Blessings version? Or are you, you know, did you find a different one? To me, as long as you're doing it, I think that's great. As long as you're scripture writing or reading your Bible, whatever you feel you can do, that is great. But it 
let me let you know that this only takes a few minutes out of your day. Even if you did it at night, like you just did scripture writing at night or right before you go to work. So you feel good when you go to work. I think this makes people feel really good. You're journaling. You are not just sitting around doing nothing. Like me, usually. Because I get bored easily. Yeah, so I love scripture writing. Scripture writing is one of my things. Besides being a YouTuber, this is one of the things I like to do. Um, crafts. That's another one. Okay, so let me turn it over. I was looking, I was like, no, I ain't gonna have enough room for that. So yeah, so it's been a struggle here for a while. Like, it's just been so tense. And you probably heard it in my voice, and then I think... I have allergies when my voice goes in and out. I can't wait for that to stop. I'm like, really? Why now do I have allergies? So with the top and bottom washi, I can do that because I'm about to do it. On the top and bottom washi, I'm going to have to change because I think I'm out of this one. I don't see the card laying around. So that is the daily scripture reading. Now let's decorate. <clears throat> you know we're only in six minutes, seven minutes right now. That's how easy this is. Or not even easy. It's just so good and feels so great. Always be love. Always be lovely. I think I'm going to use that one. I'm going to show you which one. I know you can't see it right now, but you will. As long as it peels, because it's been in this card for a while. Isn't that beautiful? It says the same thing over and over, which is fine. And with these kind of washes, you don't have to use them just as washi. You can actually use them as a sticker. Because you can cut the piece where it says, always be lovely. Cut before the flower. And it'll look really pretty. If you journal or whatever. Just trying to cut the washi off. Okay. So I just got to make sure I'm going the right direction. Because when you're doing this, you have to make sure it's the right direction. Did I do it in front of you or did I do it on the side? I do apologize if you didn't see it. You'll see it right now. Um, pulling it off, for some reason, it's like stiff. And now I gotta find one for the middle. Find one for the middle washi. Oh, I can't wait, wait to move. Oh, then I could do an actual. I'm gonna do a house tour when we get there, and then we're gonna do a room tour of the office. Cause me and my daughter is gonna share the office. Cause it's a three bedroom, and we only have two of us, besides my husband. And my cat. So, yeah. Well, I guess you consider that four of us. And in the middle, I think I'm going to add pink. I'm loving the way this looks. And what better way to do it with... I hope I showed you that. This gorgeous one. And what I do with it is I just end the day with it. Wherever it needs to be ended. Like so. That looks pretty. Oh, I love it. So now day 16. I gotta mark off four, uh, 15. Today we're on the 14th. I have to upload 14 and 15 now. And then I'm gonna work on 16, which is James 1 16 through 17. So 15 is done. Now let's decorate it. 
and kind of like this one, right? So since we're focusing on light, look at that. Be the light. I see something flying around that's getting in my last nerve. This, this apartment is so old. Like, my gosh. Look at that. It says, be the light. I didn't even realize I had that. Um, so, I don't know why I decorated that just now, but that's fine. I'm going to use this one again where it says, be the light. I think that is perfect. Since we're focusing on, again, the light. I'll put that there. Um, did that put he restores me? Yes, I did. Uh, he can move mountains. I like one. And I love this one. Trust in the Lord. And these stickers are from the Jot brand. Again, Dollar Tree. Maybe right here. So that one. And then let me grab the Happy Planner Faith Warrior sticker. And I'm kind of liking. Well, oh, I need to put something there to cover that up. And I'm just going to put the word important. Even though, let's see, is this enough? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. It just covered up the, the word notes is what I'm trying to do. Um, for here, I kind of like the way this is starting to look. So I'm going to see if I have one like these. Let's see. So like these stop sign looking ones. This book, I need to grab another. Seriously, I need another book. So I'm trying to see what I have. I might just go with the pink one. So just use this one up. There you go. this. I'm going to bring this one back. I look like I'm all over the place. So, day 16. James 1, 16 through 17. And then again, I'll just go here with 1, 16. And then I start writing. Basically, you just write 16 and then 17, but I like to put 116 so I remember. But that is the daily scripture writing. Please give this a big thumbs up, leave a comment, share the video. That would be greatly appreciated. And yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you never miss out on any of my good videos. Thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.